to Petix Academy show, friends. Expect to meet amazing furry parents, very talented pet fashion clothing designers, and incredible pet experts from all around the world. We also are so proud to win not only ranked top 1% globally podcast, we made it to top 10 podcasts in US and top 2 in multiple countries. My name is Vasi. I'm a professional photographer and I'm going to be sharing with you incredible tips and tricks on how you can take fantastic phone pictures, videos, grow your social media, or if you have a business, we will grow it together. Expect, friends, uh, that you are going to meet incredible furry babies, you're going to meet the beauty, their adventure, pet fashion, and so much more. So let's the show begins. Hello everyone, hello, hello friends and hello to all of you. I hope you're doing well. And I'm so excited about today because as we know, uh, everyone who is our friend for sure definitely is a pet lover. And uh, as we know, all around the world, we love our poor babies, but I would say in some country yeah, it's more accepted than others. And this is the reason why uh, me, Mary Ellen, Carmen from Spain, and some other people who think uh, the same way uh, like us, like uh, I would say probably about six, eight uh, weeks ago, we got together and we said, do you know what? Pets are family <laughs> all around the world. And this is what we are going to be talking today. Uh, this is actually our third um life uh, or you may listen this as a podcast dedicated on pets or family and uh, our goal is just to simply encourage people from different countries to join us in this journey uh, and just to share the cuteness and the love that's that's all about share the cuteness uh, and the love with our you know with our babies we do have a special um a hashtag we do encourage people you know to use it we also do have a special facebook group again it's called pets are family from all around the world but uh you know get ready this will be one a very interesting and really incredible uh wonderful episode uh and why not pets are definitely family and um please make sure that you share with uh, with uh, your loved ones you know, you share, uh, because sharing is caring. And pretty much this is what it is, friends. Pets are family from all around the world. Also, officially, we are now Pet Picks World. We are joining the team. We dropped the academy, no more academy. And this is what we are going to be talking today. Uh, also, the reason why I kind of picked today as a date uh it's uh, for us to do our new life our new podcast is that today it's july 11 as we are having this life so today it's a special day for me personally because today it's actually my mom's birthday and i want to say very happy birthday to my mom uh my mom it's uh one of the few people who believed in me so, you know, since I was very young and I know that coming from a different country, uh, my beginning wasn't really easy coming here 12 years ago, even as a teenager. But there it was one thing my mom always kept telling me and it was Vasi, you can do it. And here we are, here I am in this beautiful America, this beautiful sunny Florida. And what I'm really proud is that I continue the legacy and the love of my mom and my dad. And I love them very dearly. She's Titurus Den Den Mama. And with Pets Are Family, this will be my way to be able to follow my dream and to really friends together. Because this is one thing, you know, all of us we talk is that we are together. Pet Picks is your community. And that's why pets are family. And I actually want to show you here on the bottom. It's my mom from many, many years ago. Uh, we were together with one of our doggies, uh, our dachshund, who, uh, by the way, found us on the street. And she became our family member for a long time. This is one of the reasons my sister actually has her doggy Gigi. It's a dachshund. 
as you know, also, I don't have pictures of my Dobermans when I was growing up. One of the reasons to become a photographer and to create pet pics. But without further ado, I just want to encourage you in this episode that each of you matter. Each of you, it's more important that you can even imagine. And that being around the people we love, even if we live in different continents, like I do with my mom, just makes you stronger. That's what it is. You are strong. And if you really have your beliefs and dreams, you can make it happen. So without further ado, and by the way, this picture on the top left, it's my mom being in America for the first time. And this is in beautiful Miami. So without further ado, here I want to welcome Carmen and Mary Ellen. Uh, with me, they are in the chat. So welcome, dear ladies. So uh, very thank you so much for being here with me. And I would like to actually encourage Carmen and then Mary Ellen. Carmen, actually, she did something very special. Uh, you had the, uh, a couple with the doggy uh, for a week in the Grand Canary, and you actually documented quite a bit. But here we are. Hi, Carmen. Hello. Hi, Spain. Hello, hello, Basi. Hello, USA. From oh yeah, okay. He wants to say hi too. Oh my God, he's a photo bomber. So I am so so happy, Basi, because everybody knows, especially you know that I used to live in the states. Hopefully, I will go back as soon as I can. Uh, but listen, um, US for me is the pet friendly paradise. Okay. So when I had to come back here, imagine I used to go, I used to go every place with my doggies, you know, eh, especially because I used to live in Beverly Hills. And then coming back here, it was so tough, like a shock, you know. But instead of being sad, of being angry, you know, and thanks to another member of, my, of our group and another dearest friend of ours, which is Ada Nieves, you know, I say, okay, Let's turn a Spain into a pet friendly country, you know. Let's put in action, let's teach Spanish people that it's possible. And let's, you know, I I I learned so so much in US that now I've got a lot of things to share with my Spanish community. So as I, I originally I was born in Madrid, but I have been living here for a while. So I am. Um, I am trying to turn this island in particular into a pet friendly destination because a lot of people say, no, Spain will never ever uh, be a pet friendly destination. Spain is anti pets. No, you know what? Instead of being negative, I'm going to show the world by documenting all the things that at present times we can do in Spain with our pets because they are family, you know. When I plan my holidays, by the way, I'm going on holidays that week, next week, I always think of my dogs. Oh, look, my Kila, she's not she cute? Yeah, so, yeah. you know what? I am really happy because I want to prove, you know what, I had, I the, the, the post I used to post to, to uh, the, the the Gran Canaria Turismo, you know, they used, they, they used to be a lot of haters. But you know what? I didn't even reply. Let's show that haters with facts that Gran Canaria in particular, which is the destination that I'm putting more, more energy on, you know, can be a pet friendly destination. And you know what? The couple, he, they were delighted with all the things we could do here, you know? So I'm really, really happy because against negative comments, a smile and tell them that they are wrong, but with facts. And you know, that's the reason because I did a lot of posts, you know, and, um, and you know what, I'm really happy because I'm seeing how not only Spain, but this island is, turn, is turning into a friendly destination. Actually, I have, uh, I have checked out lots of different restaurants, which I didn't know. They were, they were accepting me with my babies, with my fur babies, and they did. So you know what? For me, that is really, really great news. Yes, a very exciting news. And, you know, it's just amazing that 
a lot of people they don't understand they think oh well, i will let go you know uh i will let the pet to come to my uh restaurant but you know letting a a really well-behaved poor baby uh, can really regenerate a lot of business and it doesn't matter where you are around the world uh you know why not what to lose you know a lot of times there are restaurants who have an outdoor area you know we as a, a parents we know that some poor babies can uh tolerate better than other places so you know like you have two poor babies you know bring them two maybe you feel comfortable to bring one of them you know that's the beauty of it no and you know what um, also, for example, what I'm also trying to teach people is that you need, as you, as you, if your, if your kids does uh, do not behave, you you send them to a school. So now we've got pet trainers, you know, which can teach your dog to live in society and to be a perfectly educated furry baby because for example when we go to a restaurant imagine there is a kid blah, 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 jumping shouting you know it, you don't like that you do don't you i don't so let's let's have empathy and put in the other day if you don't like dogs you know and a dog goes to a restaurant and it starts barking or jumping or something like that it bothers people so we need to teach people that we have to respect that wheel of dogs, okay? But there may be some people who doesn't, by the way, if you don't like love dogs, you're not my friend. I don't be interested in getting to know you. But apart from that, that's my personal decision. We've got, we've got to admit that not everybody loves dogs as much as we do, you know? But respect, and we've got we've got to uh, to understand that our dogs have to be very well educated so that they don't bother other people and you know what i am totally positive that even here now in grand canaria we've got more and more dog trainers my favorite one is instructor Kang. he i had the incredible chance to meet danny and Danny is an amazing guy he's so talented you know and he's also helping in teaching Spanish people that sharing your social life with your dog is possible if you've got well-behaved dogs. So you know what? I think that Spain and especially this island is moving forward it's little by little, but you know what? That's my mission while I am here. And I am here for a reason. And that is the reason to make Spanish people aware of our movement. Pets are family. I love it. Uh, so you know, uh, I'll just add my two cents worth there. Um, there, are, there are children that, like like Carmen said, that do not behave. My dog uh, behaves better than a lot of the children, and we tolerate that. So uh, we need to make, make people understand, especially restaurant owners, that um, you can have an unruly dog, or you can have a very well-trained dog, or you can have just a quiet dog, or you can have children that are exactly the same, you know? And uh, so it, it, it's there's no difference. Do you know what? I, I will never ever forget that, you know, that I used to live in Beverly Hills. So I used to get the plane, Madrid, LAX, direct flight with Iberia. And I will never ever forget that the air uh, flight attendant used to know me because she used to come, excuse me, are you sure you've got two dogs inside your purse? I had a special <laughs> pet carrier for them, you know, because they used to travel uh, snuggling together, you know, because that was the reason because they didn't stress and everything. And the, the flight attendant came and she, you know, she looked in the direction of a family with two kids, OMG. I yeah. thought that I was going nuts because yeah. blah, 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 shouting, misbehaving, and their and their parents was just, you know, just playing on the on the cell. Yeah. So, you get it used to after a while, to be honest with you, when you have the two legs uh, babies kids uh you know misbehaving you get it used to but you're right some for babies i have just amazed when i go to these uh, pet fashion shows uh you know to live stream and then photograph those four babies 
I mean, I mean, they are incredible. And a lot of the poor babies I photographed in my career or had the honor to interview their parents or highlight in our Pet Picks World magazine. It's fantastic. So in uh, one thing, uh, and especially you also, Marianne, I would love to hear your input, but what happened is like when you were live in different country, uh, like, you know, US and let's say UK and other countries are very open-minded pet wise. They love their fur babies, but the other countries or even, you know, different locations in the country where they may would say that if you have, like they don't necessarily understand the passion that pet parents. Uh, uh, and again, they are our kids, um, you know, so you, you, it's not that you don't love your fur babies. We all of us we love our our fur babies. We just have different family, uh, I would say, dynamics. Some of us like to go out with our fur babies, let's say to a restaurant. You know, some yeah. of us, you know, like to maybe fly with them, go to travel, and some of us may just say, okay, we'll just go for a walk. Again, we are in this together, but let's just be a little more. Under, understanding to the people who would like to hang out in a different yes. way to different places with fur babies you, we can just say oh you are a little crazy no we are, we are not crazy just that's the way we as individuals have the choice to decide what works exactly. the best for us listen you know what here in spain in the states is much more popular that we share our social life with our with our four with our four babies, you know. But here in Spain, especially in Gran Canaria, OMG, you know what? I've had a lot of problems because you know that I've got my two Chihuahuas, then I've got the Doberman, plus the two doggies of my of my of my neighbor. So I created like a pack. They love each other. They are like a family. And I love going out for walks to have drinks with the five of them. They yeah. are so well behaved. And people the other day say, oh, my God, you're the crazy lady about the, the crazy dog lady. Yo, excuse me, lady. Uh, uh, and she told me, oh, how brave you are having five dogs. You know, how brave you are having as many kids as you've got. Because as far as I know, my dogs will never betray me. They will never hit me or hurt me because of money, because of, of properties, you know, or because of will. So I'm sorry. I do really think that I am not crazy. I'm just happy. And I trust my dogs more than will I ever, ever trust a human being. So thank you so much for your comment. But here in Spain, it's not popular. It's not normal at all to go for a walk with five dogs. And I go two Chihuahuas, one Greyhound, one Doberman, and one Jack Russell. And they go all in perfect harmony, like a pack. I created a really, really great pack. And they love to be together all the time. But here, that is not normal. And I am the, the, the crazy dog lady. And you know what? I'm honored because dogs are my life. And my dogs are the reason I wake up every single morning. And the reason because I never, ever give up. And I keep moving forward, you know, because I've got sort of like a drama. Very, very awful things have happened to me during the past year. But no, I've got my dogs. This is unconditional, unconditional love. And I need to be a strong and I need to do something for them because they saved my life. Now it's my turn to save theirs. Beautiful. Yeah, that's so beautiful. Do you agree, Mary Ellen? Absolutely. Um, I, I wanted to put in something about traveling with pets. You know, uh, Vessi, that I traveled with uh, Lanai via airplane to uh, North Carolina, South Carolina, yeah. uh, to the fashion show. And there were a hundred rules in order to get my pup on the, on the plane. And I thought, oh my word, this is going to be nasty. And uh, I, I did everything at the vet that I was supposed to. And, uh, and and you can't check just check in 
uh, online with your with your pup, you got to go up to the station and and talk to them and show them your pup. And and so I did. I went up with Lanai in the stroller, and I said, "Here she is." You know, I'm I'm a. Uh, uh, do you do you want my the shot records? No, no. Do you want her health certificate? Oh no, no, it doesn't matter. And then we got on the plate. You have to have them in a kennel that will go under the seat in front of you, and you never take them out. They got to stay in there the whole flight. Oh, fooey! As soon as we got airborne, the flight attendants were playing with Lanai. They had her out playing with her. And one of the flight attendants on one of my one of my uh, um, trips, um, she made sure that the seat next to me was empty so that I could put Lenai up in the seat. And they, you know, they fed her treats. I mean, it was they they don't care once you get in the air. Those flight attendants are just as easy as they can be. It's just too so sweet. <laughs> Hello. Once you really got into the airport, uh, it was just another story. So don't be, when you when you have to fly, I mean, I'm not going to fly again with them. We'll drive next time. Uh, but if you have to fly, don't be intimidated by all of the, by all of the rules. I think they take one look at your dog and they see that they're well-groomed, that they're well-behaved. And they're sitting in their stroller doing nothing, and they're a little dog, and they're just looking up at you. They don't care. That's no, all. They don't. Don't. Yeah, they don't. And uh, I would say this is one of the mission, as we know that uh, you know, Pet Picks Magazine. It's on the way, and uh, we are very passionate, exactly, to add a lot of educational articles from pet parents, but also professionals about traveling, about summer, about beach. But traveling, it's one of the big think uh, even in fact that would be one of the team for our next issue after we launch this because traveling with four babies you know can be easy you know it's all about I think it's all about a choice uh, but just let's really kind of be open-minded that's how I would like probably to put it into words I'm traveling next week I'm going on vacation and of course wherever I go my furry babies come with me the government, and uh, she's not mine. Uh, as you know, we, I'm taking care of her because he's an uh, owner. He's taking her to Bali. So I'm, I, she has been with me since October. Wow. So, but I can't fly with her because the pay, the, her passport is not under my name. So she will go with, uh, with another friend of ours, but I'm traveling with my babies. I, and I do totally agree 100% with Mary Ellen. Don't be intimidated, you know. I've got my passport, you know, my my all their documentation are online. And you know what? It's great because then I put them on the on them on their carrier, you know, and they go to sleep because they are so well behaved and so used to traveling that they know that when they are there on their on their on their carrier, you know, they know. That is for a couple of hours or a couple of, for example, from here, we're traveling to another island, which is Fuerteventura, which is only 30 minute flight. So they are behaved. So when we went to Madrid, when we flew to Madrid, it was two hours and uh, 45 minutes. They were asleep. They were sleeping all the time. So I do totally agree. Please, when planning your vacation, don't leave them behind. Take them with you. And also, you know what? I have been, um, I have to uh, to do a really, really uh, deep search about pet friendly airlines, you know, and I found out a lot, almost every single airline company is pet friendly, you know? And, but you know what? I'm really happy because for example, not only in the US, where most of uh, most of their uh, U.S. airlines are pet friendly, but here in Spain we've got Iberia, we've got Welly, we've got Binter, uh, we've got um, which is the other one? Oh, uh, Welly, Air Nostrum. So you know, I'm, I'm happy. I'm really happy because I'm seeing more and more pet friendly options for families like mine. I'm single. I am a monoparental family. Me and my two furry babies. 
Oh, I love it. That's really great. <laughs> I love it. Mary, it, Ellen, is there anything you would like to say, sweetie? I, I, to add to the traveling thing, um, and I think it probably happens with everybody, because I talked to Ada, and, and we, we met at the airport. We didn't know that, that we were both taking the same flight out. And uh, yeah, we and we planned it where we sat right close to each other too. So, um, but it, but uh, when we were on the plane, I mean, people that, in the seats around you. Oh, you've got a puppy. Oh, look at there. Oh, she's cute. Oh, you know, and they got to play with the dog. And, and, and you know, people are attracted to pretty pets. You know. Uh, and by pretty pets, I mean pets that are well groomed, that that are are bright and in and uh, have been trained. You know, uh, doesn't matter. I don't mean physical looks. I'm talking about pretty in their actions because they've been so well trained. And Lanai just ate it all up, and she just sat there and let everybody do. You know, and uh, she really enjoyed it. So, oh girl. Yeah, so, and that and that was Delta Airlines. If anybody wants to know, I'll I'll praise Delta Airlines to the sky because they really they really did a nice job with her. But I think I think a lot of you know airlines do. They people are attracted to puppies. So Ada was having the same problem. She was right behind me, and everybody was playing with her pup too. <laughs> so. Adorable. Well, it's, it's really great that people are accepting them. And I would say, friends, again, this, uh, you make sure whatever you leave, check all the, you know, all the requirements. This is from our own experience. So check it, you know, read the reviews and et cetera. So please, you know, uh, make sure that it works for you and your fur babies because every fur baby is different. And this is just the beginning. We'll continue, you know, doing a lot of things. We hope that if any of you might be interested to jump with us on Pets Our Family uh, project, please uh, DM us, join our Facebook group. We also very excited to announce that in uh, petfixworld.com, we have our own community. It's Pet Fix uh, World community. It's a free community. Uh, and the reason why uh, we, we created it, it's so we can unite people from Facebook and Instagram so we can share pictures. Uh, but keep this in mind. We would love to have you there. And Carmen, before we are done, is there anything else you would like to tell people and also how people can connect with you? Well, I am I am Carmen Diaz Medina. I'm from there. You can get to my other pages. You know, actually, you know what? I am doing uh, through the Facebook and Instagram of my Anakin because you know what? I have kept her Instagram and Facebook account open because it's my particular way to honor her, to keep her memory alive and to keep on doing what I'm doing because it's for her pet our family. She was not my dog. Anna Kines Skywalker was my daughter. So um, I'm doing, um, because, you know, I come from Spain, you know, so many of my videos are in Spanish. So in that web page, um, sorry, that's Facebook page and Instagram page, I'm going to make two videos, Spanish and English. So I'm going to have a lot of job, a lot of work. Yes, and we love about it. And I actually, so I want to announce to people, I mean, I don't, I barely speak English as, as we can hear, but uh we are branching out. You both speak English well. Stop it. You okay. both speak very good English. Well, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I love you. It's so funny. I used to use this as an excuse. And uh, my uh, close friends, like all of you, they would, and I used to say it, and they would say, it doesn't work anymore. But I'm like, <laughs> let me be the foreigner here. Come on. But anyway, no, no, uh, the idea is... Work. Yeah, I, I guess it doesn't work anymore. No. <laughs> well, uh, what matters is that we are passionate about fur babies. And in our new upcoming pet magazine issue, we are actually going to have articles on Spanish, a couple of them, uh, one or two. And then we are going to have also in Italian. So from now on, with this officially said, we are encouraging people 
from all around the world if you'd like to be highlighted. I even was trying to figure out a way. So I had a, a client of mine from a different country with completely uh, different language. And I said, listen, do you know some people in your country who may would consider writing an article for the magazine? And she said, yes, Vasi. So I even figured out a way if needed to use Google Translator to translate it and just polish it a little bit to sound good in English. So there is always a way. But I'm hoping that one day we are going to have a lot of different languages in our community. Uh, so yes, we do have now a Spanish version of some, it's a baby step. It's even our community, it's a baby, you know, steps, but we'll get there. So I use Google Translate <laughs> to translate it because I'm like, I don't know. But anyway, so yeah, keep doing English in uh, Spanish. And for those of you friends who might be intimidated and say, well, I like it. So there is always a Google Translator or other platforms like it to help us unite us. So don't worry. Uh, we have this amazing um, follower from uh, Argentina uh, uh, who uh, it's not Graciela, also Graciela, you know, supports it, but it's a different lady. And uh, she messaged me in Spanish. And one of oh. my inspiration for things to kind of, and it was actually, be, I don't know if I already knew you, Carmen. Maybe I, I, maybe it was a little before I met you, but that's how things we decided to branch out to Spanish and other <laughs> languages. Because it's time, you know, we are united uh, global community. Exactly. It's not US, Canada, you know, Spain, Argentina, Bulgaria, it's everyone who loves fur baby. That's why pets are family. And for you, Mary Ellen, where people can find you. I'm, can you hear me now? Oh, yes, we do. Yeah. Yeah, oh, okay. Um, I'm on Mary Ellen's Pet Designs uh, on Facebook and Mary and slash, let's see, underscore Ellen underscore pet underscore designs underscore in uh, in uh, uh, Instagram. Fantastic, thank you. And honestly, friends, Mary Ellen, it's everywhere in Pet Picks World uh, social media. You can see her, you know, you help me for the magazine, for the Facebook. Uh, I'm everywhere. <laughs> everywhere, poor woman doesn't have a break from Basi, but I know that you love uh, our mission. And thank you so much to you, Carmen, because I just want to say, if it wasn't for Carmen, this pets are family um, a project wouldn't be born. So in honor of Naniken, uh, in honor of Leah, uh, of Lenai, yes, uh, we will continue their legacy. Uh, mm -hmm. So, Ladies, this is just the start. So it doesn't matter, friends, where do you live around the world? Let's jump on board. And again, it doesn't require anything because you just to post with a hashtag. Pretty much that. It doesn't require anything. But if you're passionate, you may would like to volunteer because at this point, it's still really a very small project. But I know that it can help millions of people from all around the world. So we you may decide, okay, I'm, I would like to help 30 minutes a month. You know, believe me, we are going to utilize any help we can oh, get. Yes. So, yes. Thank you, ladies. Thank you thank so much, you. friends. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much to everyone who is watching this video, listening this podcast. Happy birthday to my mom. And I cannot thank you enough, friends. And just to tell you, you are what make us stronger. This is your community. And you can see it from the Facebook, from the Instagram, now in our Pet Picks World community, to our podcast and magazine, you are what makes this community very special because you are the special. Your babies are the special. So give hug to your babies. And just yeah. don't forget that every day it's a, a great opportunity to create memories. So thank you very much, everyone, and see you soon. Bye. Thank you for listening to this podcast episode. I hope you really enjoyed it. You learned some new tips and tricks. You got inspired. Please go look at the description of the podcast 
followed our guest speaker, Say Hi from Pet Picks Academy Show. If you'd like to learn more, go to our website, Pet Picks Academy. Check out our free classes. We have a bunch. Make sure you don't miss our coming up events, virtual events. It's going to be a lot of fun. Check our calendar and don't forget, share with your friends. And the end of the day, what matters is to share the beauty, the adventure, the love, the pet passion to the world. And if you'd like to be part of Pet Picks, be on our show, don't forget, reach out to us. We are looking forward to meeting you and your babies.